So I am not a Notion expert, but I think I, I got an interesting workflow for taking notes in the Zettelkasten method. If you don't know what Zettelkasten is, you can just go check it out. I will probably link to some interesting pages for explaining it in the description. But yeah, a lot of people are using Roam Research for Zettelkasten in 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 their like their workflow for note taking and also other people are using org roam which is uh, similar to roam research but for the text editor emacs in my case i like notion it brings a lot of interesting tools apart from just writing text and linking and although it doesn't implement backlinking automatically i i have a workaround for backlinking okay so first of all i found that databases work much better than regular pages like this one so because you can do crazy relations between databases you can make filters work much better so let's go ahead and create a, a new database for zettelkasten we click here and I'm going to call this like I know knowledge and I'm going to create the table database. So first of all, uh, what I do is just remove all this stuff, except the name because it's mandatory. And I like to have a, a timestamp for my notes. So I'm going to add a, a new column and I'm going to call it uh, going to use uh, as a property the created time I'm call it created add and there we go uh, also we can add some stuff like summary which is going to be some text uh, also I'm going to create uh, one called permanent note uh, Gonna be checkbox. This refers to a, a video of Shuomi. Gonna link it also. And it a permanent note is basically a note that serves me for my knowledge. And then there are other stuff like literature notes that are taking like when reading a book or watching a video, you just take notes of that and then you incorporate that knowledge into your permanent notes. And also apart from that, perhaps we can have something like uh, publishable. So maybe there are some content. There is some content here that can be published for a blog post or article or whatever. So yeah, I'm gonna just delete this entries over here. Okay, so now we can come here and create a new template. We're gonna leave the title as it is. Um, I'm gonna add a toggle here. Meta information, and here we're gonna add stuff like keywords, author, relevant notes. So, in keywords, you will be using stuff like uh, in keywords, you will add sentences like, How do I create a tutorial? or stuff like that. So, when you search for it. They're gonna appear over here. An author, you can, you can just uh, list the authors over here and the notes, also the notes that might be relevant for the contents of this one. So now here we can create another heading called notes. I'm gonna leave an empty one over here and also we're gonna call relevant uh, notes are related to or back links. So when we have this, we can leave it like this. So now what, that we have set up our template, oh, we can go ahead and start creating notes. What I like using instead of navigating to this database is that from any part of Notion, you can just push Control N on Windows or Command N, I think, on Mac, and it will create a note. Here you can choose the database that you're going to be using and this is going to be the default one so from any part of notion you can create a new node and it will come here directly also here we we can see that you can create an empty page or the template which we have just created 
So let me change it, change the name real quick. So if I push Control N here, I'm gonna open this up and I can click on New Zettle and it's gonna like add all the stuff that I have been working. So uh, if you press Control Return or Control Enter or Command Enter on Mac, you open it up in full screen as its whole page. So you can, if you want, you can make it like full width or whatever. So let's say that I'm let me self I don't know. Uh, I have a box of Kenwood speakers in front of me, so I so I can just take notes of this. So my information. It's like how speakers. So here anything goes. You can just write write searchable stuff. It do, they don't have to be like tags or, or keywords per se. Uh, an author, you know, random box. But here, here the interesting part is that you can make this also um, a page. So you can go ahead and press Control N again. And, uh, control Turn New Zettle. You can call it like uh, random box. And if we we can press it here to go back or like it says underneath like control left square bracket and we can go back here and now we can link um, link to this page that we have just created so how do we go with the backlink so this is easy we just press control l note that this has to be opened as in full screen if if you don't have it open in full script and you have it like in in this way. So if you have it this way, this shortcut is not gonna work. You have to open it up like this. So if you press Control L or Command L, nothing will happen. But what actually has happened is that it copied the URL of this page. So if you come to this random box link that you created here, here in backlinks, you just paste, paste with Control B or Command B and you already have a backlink over here. So you can come back here and see that this author, see that there's like this notes, uh, like the notes I'm taking are from this author over here and automatically, well, it's not automatic, I had to, it, to do it, but I have the backlink link over here and it, it wasn't that, um, that hard. It's just pressing Control L and then pasting it over here and Notion handles the rest. So it's quite easy. And yes, of course, Roam and Org Roam and stuff like that do this automatically for you. But I think that Notion has a lot of features that I like and maybe who knows in the future they might implement it. So in relevant notes, you can do the same. Like you can create other pages and then you just uh, write stuff over here. So if I'm gonna create, I can say, okay, that the shape is circular. Like a circle for real, and if for some reason I want to make this a note, for example, circle is a concept, I, I might want to link to it. I can again press Control N, and I say circle new zettle. I can take notes about circle or not. I can just leave it and come back to it later when I need to take notes of this. And I can do again like control return, control L. Well, I can I can even just delete this and say add circle. And this is gonna make a link. So I can press control L, get inside of here and paste it. It's not that hard and it allows you to do the same backlinking as other software do. And in the Zettle casting method is quite interesting. This is my workflow. And if you want to say some suggestion or anything, like feel free to do it.